Hi, I'm Don. Today we're doing an unboxing video again and I just got this package earlier today. This package is from Frontier Wargaming so a ton of thanks to Frontier Wargaming for sending me this stuff. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. So, as usual, since this is sponsored stuff, I'm kind of biased. <laughs> However, it is very difficult to find fault with any Frontier Wargaming stuff. We had studio renovations last month and the corners of my daughters, Sam and Nico, are pretty good now. They do need like hobby chairs and some organizers and stuff but their corners are really nice as for me i was like i crafted a new table because before i was sharing my table with nico and now i have my new table i kind of altered an existing wooden table and made it like five foot wide and two feet deep most of the modules, the Frontier War Gaming calls these modules because they're modular and most of them came assembled already except for one. It took I think a couple of weeks before these modules were ready to ship and Frontier War Gaming told me like a few days ago or last week that my set are ready to ship. So I was like ship them already. <laughs> I think these modules are new and they may not be available at the website yet. I'm not really sure, but these are new designs from Frontier Wargaming and they redesigned their modular like organizers and thus it took like maybe a week or two to redesign and manufacture this all of these modules. As I've said, one of the modules, like one of them needs assembly and it was scary. This stuff are made of plywood and most likely laser cut. And those tiny details of the parts of the modules, I thought they were like really fragile. But you can see here, as long as you use a piece of wood in between the finish or in between the pieces and the hammer, um, you won't really damage the finish of this module. I turned on the audio to show you that I'm hammering away to snap all these main parts together and they're pretty durable. Now I put all of the modules together or line them up and they're looking really good. Now it's a matter of assembling the trees to finish off the one module that is unassembled. The modules also came with some rubber footings that will prevent scratches to the surface of the underside of all these modules. I think it's just me but I think I want to add more rubber footings at the center areas of the modules because this will be really heavy once we add in the paints. A couple of trays needs a bit of gluing. I think wood glue would be a better option but I was hasty and want to like glue these trays together really fast so I used super glue. As expected, the super glue is messy so I recommend that you use simple PVA glue or better like wood glue which are easier to clean up with a moist cloth and you won't have those messy like excess marks on the sides of these trees. The fit of all these pieces for this tray is really nice but I can't say that you don't need glue because they might like disassemble during like using of these trays so again I highly recommend using some sort of glue so that they're pretty fixed and really nice. Now we have the Frontier War Gaming modules together with my paint case 2.0. As I've said, I'm biased at the 
at the start of the video but as you can see this frontier war gaming modules are premium stuff now let's break it down into separate modules first is module c module c are mini storage shelves these are a couple of module c and you could put them together or on top of each other for me i'm using it as a platform for my paint case 2.0 these mini storage shelves are not actually mini because you have a really deep shelf um, a couple of them on each module and you could put them on top of each other if you want to like create a shelf but I told Wargaming or Frontier Wargaming that I want these mini storage shelves as a platform for my paint case 2.0 so that the whole setup will look really nice. Now we have Module D which are storage shelves. This come with 4 drawers which are really deep. I think they're 8 inches deep each, each of the drawer. So one module comes with 4 drawers. You could stack the storage shelves Module D with Module C. And of course you could stack Module D with Module D and create a big shelf. So as you can see now, everything is modular and you could design your own shelf or desktop like organizers. It's just that this was the setup that I wanted to have because this has the right amount of drawers and the right amount of paints as you can see later. Now we have module B which is the ladder stand. This is very beautiful. It has three layers of like you could put trays of paints and the bottom part you could put a tray of paint tubes or a basic shelf. Also as you can see here you could stack it on top of any of the shelves and it has groove so that it won't slip from the shelves and you'll have a really tall paint rack. Last is module A. This one it can be wall mounted. It has four screws at the back or holes for screws that you could mount on walls and it's pretty tall. It has four layers of paint trays. Also take note that you could even like customize your order so that you have trays for really fat paints or washes and trays for normal size paints. Now our grand reveal. I've added the paints, cleaned up my bottles. Of course, they're all Vallejo paints. Hashtag always Vallejo for me. And I added all my, not, not all, but some of my pigments, my fab washes, my fab weathering paints, and all my, not again, not all, because some of my paints are at Nico's Corner. I use all those paints once in a while. I mean, I try to experiment with different colors and different paints so that I get to like share with you what are the great Vallejo paints to use or the easiest paints to use. Needless to say, I'm the happiest dude right now. So a ton of thanks to Frontier War Gaming. Do check them out. I'll put links below. That's it, Pansit. That's it, we're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!